G'day trendsetters, what is UDH? And specifically, what does it mean on a gravel bike? The UDH standard was developed by SRAM and it's been in play for a couple of years, mostly on the mountain bike side of things. However, we are seeing this standard transition across to gravel bikes and road bikes. In the case of these two bikes here, this is the amazing number 22 Bicycles Drifter Adventure review coming later. It is fitted with a UDH mount for its rear derailleur. And this bike on my left is a Linsky GR300, which is fitted with a traditional derailleur hangar, one many of you will be familiar with. The acronym UDH stands for Universal Derailleur Hangar. If you take a look at the 99.99% of bicycles produced with a replaceable derailleur hanger, you'll know that every single design is pretty much unique to every frame. Clearly this represents a problem if you happen to crash the bike, drop the bike, have the derailleur torn off in muddy conditions, or in my case, the bike falls over during a strong wind when you're taking photographs and you end up bending the bloody derailleur hanger. What a complete pain in the ass. This gives me a quick opportunity to plug, and I'm not being paid for this plug slash mention. Wheels Manufacturing, they have just about every single derailleur hanger in stock known to mankind, so be sure to check them out if your manufacturer cannot help you. Moving forward and back to UDH, as the name implies, this hanger is designed to get away from designs for each frame and utilize a universal standard. However, this design requires a physical change in the frame and obviously buy-in from manufacturers. However, there are advantages according to SRAM. The UDH design allows the derailleur to move back just a smidge, which can be helpful in the instance of a crash. It might prevent some derailleur damage happening. On screen is the unique SRAM RED Explore Access 13 speed rear derailleur which takes advantage of the UDH design. Essentially this new gravel specific derailleur adopts SRAM's transmission type or T-type derailleur design which has crossed over from mountain bikes. So as you can see the design essentially removes the derailleur hanger altogether. As you can see from these gravel bikes on screen, firstly, the number 22 Bicycles Titanium Drifter Adventure Bike, review coming later, and this stunningly beautiful Aficina Batalin Pave Steel Gravel Bike, review linked below. They are utilizing the UDH standard and they are both equipped with the SRAM Red Explore 13 speed drivetrain. If you look closely at these derailleurs, you'll see they've also ditched the limit screws and the B adjustment screws. The UDH design also improves alignment between the derailleur and the cassette. Therefore, you don't have to worry about aligning your rear derailleur with a hanger tool. There is one big caveat here. The UDH system as it stands is designed only for SRAM rear derailleurs. Unless, of course, you utilize an adapter. More on that in a moment. Setting the obvious, the UDH system is going to cause compatibility problems with derailleurs not designed to accept the system. That even includes SRAM's mechanical and ETAP derailleurs, just about any other derailleur released in the past 30 years, and of course, Shimano's direct mount technology. Adding to that, Campanolo is the other company to jump onto the direct mount type design. Fun times galore. The good news is there are various adapters available to allow these systems to play together somewhat nicely. Once again, my friends at Wheels Manufacturing can help you solve those compatibility problems. And I promise you, they are not paying me to say that or plug them in any way, shape or form. In fact, I've received several review bikes of late that feature UDH and are utilizing a non-UDH derailleur. Thus far, the UDH standard seems to be sticking with bikes designed for one by specific drivetrains, but I'm wondering if we'll see it developed for two by drivetrains. I guess that's going to depend on manufacturer buy-in, etc. It'll be interesting to see how UDH plays out in the next couple of years. Alrighty, trendsetters, time to wrap up this video. I sincerely hope you found this factoid video somewhat helpful, taking away some of the confusion of UDH, derailleur mount systems that we're seeing make their way onto gravel bikes and even 
road bikes in some cases. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for interesting videos such as this one. No bull****, it's gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and of course, my favorite, one of my favorite things in life, really, general madness. What the f am I doing with my life? Oh yeah, it's pretty bloody awesome. I'll see you in the next video.